What's going on fellow fish tank fanatics? I thought I'd do a video of how I make um, my frozen fish food. This one is medicated frozen fish food, excuse me. This one is a little bit different because the ice cube tray I normally use, I busted it last time, so we're gonna try a different method using this. So to get started, um, I'm using Parasite Sniper because that's just what I have um, to treat internal parasites. Most of the time you do a medicated food like this, to treat for internal parasites or something like that. So I'll use Sniper. I will also use Symmetrodiazinol. Um, but the key when using any powder formula like this is you have to have a binder. And I use Seekim Focus. Um, this is a binder. It, to me, it's kind of like Garlic Guard, um, but it forces the powder medicine to stick to the food. Now if you are spraying flake food, you don't need to worry about a binder, but for me, I like to feed it in frozen, um, just so that way it stays fresher longer. So um, whatever medicine you choose, make sure you have a binder. Like I said, I use Focus, that's what I like. There's many others out there, but I just prefer Seachem. Um, I really do enjoy Seachem products. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Of fourth a teaspoon for a half a cup of water um, but instead of using water we are using frozen fish food so got to thaw it out so that way I can stir everything in and then you need a pan um, that you can freeze I'm just using a glass Pyrex uh, 9x13 pan I put saran wrap on the bottom um, I will then pour the food on top of this and I'll make a video on all these steps but pour the food in an even coat on there and then throw it in the freezer to freeze. Then I'll be able to pull it straight out with the, uh, with the saran wrap and break it up into smaller pieces for store to store it easier. So there you go guys, there's the first step. Okay, the blood worms are melted. Uh, just a reminder, you all can use any frozen food if you're doing it this way. Um, I use blood worms because it's what's most readily available uh, for me to buy. Um, and it's also the best accepted frozen fish food for the fish I am feeding this to. Um, now another quick reminder when you buy <clears throat> the frozen fish food to make medicated fish food I recommend buying the flat packs which if we can find it real quick. This is what I used um, and about a half a pack it makes a cup odd so uh, I thawed half a packet and uh, this is what's left. I measured out half a cup and I know it takes one teaspoon for every half a cup. So I will measure out, or a quarter of a teaspoon, sorry, a quarter of a teaspoon um, for every half a cup. So let's get that done. All right, the quarter of a teaspoon is in there. You can kind of see um, some of the powder still up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of metrodiazinol just because um, I feel like it. So I'm going to try doing that. I will probably add two of these little scoops that come in these containers. Okay, I added two scoops of metrodiazinol. Now it is time to add the focus. Now the focus is on a 5 to 1 ratio. So I need to add 5 quarter teaspoons and then two scoops. Now, it's hard to get in this container, so I will scoop into this to get five and then just do two extra scoops. So let me get that done. I don't have enough hands to do it on camera. Um, then we'll get to mixing. All right, I got the focus added. You can see the, uh, the cloudiness of it. Now I'm going to stir it very, very well and then uh, pour it in this pan. Now, on the first part of the video, I had very, very, very badly underestimated <laughs> what um, half a cup looked like. So this is a smaller Pyrex pan. Um, it'll do the same thing. So I'm just going to pour it in there, throw it in the freezer, and let it thaw after it's very, very nicely mixed. So time to get stirring. All right, I'm still in the process of stirring, as you can tell on the, uh, the blood worms on the left. That is what is medicated now, and you can still see a couple chunks. I just wanted to bring it to your all's attention that it does change the color. 
um, with all of the focus and the medicine that you put in there, it will change the color of the bloodworms. As you can tell, it's kind of whitish where this one is not. So uh, just keep that in mind. I will probably let this sit for a little bit, really work in before I throw in a pan and freeze. But uh, you all will be along for that. Um, but I do need to go get the little baby. She's starting to wake up. So I'll let you all let you all go. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, there you go. I uh, I poured it out. It is in here. I did not get all of the uh, the chunks, um, but so be it. So this is the new method that I'm trying. I'm going to see if freezing it back into a block makes it easier. Um, luckily for me, with this I'll be able to just pull the saran wrap out, and that should just fall right off. I might take a fork and try to get some of these beat up a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> just to be careful not to puncture the, uh, the saran wrap. But either way, I'm going to get this in the freezer and get it frozen. So that way I can start feeding it as needed. Alright, so it has been um, about an hour and a half, two hours. Now that it's been in the freezer. We're going to pop it loose and uh, see what this looks like. So, let's see. go. There's your frozen food. Frozen medicated food. Let's see if I can. Should have done this from the start. The only issue I see is that bubble? If you guys can see what's caught in there. But since I fall out before I feed, there shouldn't be an issue. There you go, guys. Gotta get that in the freezer. I'm gonna label it, which I can do right now. date yeah. all right note to self you know on that um, the last one where I unpackaged it uh, and the saran wrap was frozen in it. Okay, well, let's go get a new diaper and I'll help you put it on, baby. Um, this, though, the way to get rid of it all is I have found if you put your pan in the freezer or if you put a little bit of water, you can actually work out all those bubbles. The freezer was super easy. It just kind of sticks on and you just can work out all the little bubbles. Um, and that way they won't um, show up next time. So that's what I did. Should pop out pretty easy still. But yeah, work out the last couple. Just so that way. I don't have any more. That's all I got. Hopefully you all enjoyed it.